Dan Perry here with another digital electronics tutorial for Dan on Tech. In this video we'll begin looking at numbering systems and binary numbers. Now we work in a decimal number system or base 10 number system and with the decimal number system we have the digits 0, 1 through 9 and then when we run out of those digits then we go and we add another place so we go to 10 and then 11 and so on <clears throat> and in fact when we're adding numbers together if I have a 9 and I add 1 to it well 9 plus 1 remember gives us a 0 with a carry and that carry in this case would then be brought down and added into the next digit over <clears throat> If I had 99 and added 1 to it, that would give us a 0 in that first one with the carry, and we would add that carry to the 9. Well, that would give us another 0 with a carry, and when we bring that down, would give us 100. Well, we all know that. We looked at that, and we learned that probably in second grade. Well, when we're doing these numbers and we look at these digits let me just write a few digits out these are powers of 10 the least significant digit or the rightmost digit here that is 10 raised to the 0 power anything raised to the 0 power is 1 so this would be 0 times 10 raised to the 0 power the next digit over is 10 to the first power or the tens. Then we have 10 to the second power, 10 squared, the 100s, and then 10 to the third or the 1000s column. And we know as we move to the left or have more digits to the left that we have higher powers of 10. And we know that the number I wrote was 1000. Just like if I wrote 1, 2, 3, 76, that would be 12,000. 376 or 12 times 10 to the fifth or fourth rather I'm sorry 2 times 10 to the third 3 times 10 squared 7 times 10 to the first and 6 times 10 to the zero well when we're doing dealing with bits or binary numbers where it's ones and zeros we're operating in what's called base 2 or binary numbers with binary numbers we have two digits a zero and a one so we count only as high as one so if I've got a one and I add one to it with binary numbers one plus one would give us a zero with a carry into the next column over or a one zero now if we're dealing with binary numbers we don't call it a 10 we call it a 1 0 and we often put a subscript of 2 out from it to let us know that it's a binary number you won't always see that subscript there if I had let's say a 1 0 1 and I added a 1 to it that would 1 and 1 would give me a 0 with a carry and that carry added to this zero would give me a zero here. I'm sorry, would give me a one here, add the one, and then bring the one down here. So we would have one, one, zero as our result. We can use these tools for, or use this method to add in binary or base two numbers. So we have the same ability to add, and there's also subtraction as well with and multiplication and division for that matter with binary numbers now I'm going to use three bits to represent numbers oh let, let me back up a minute with those numbers say one zero one well in the leftmost this is two raised to the zero power and again anything raised to the zero power it's one so this would be one times one here this center uh, number would be 2 to the first power, 2 to the first power. Let me erase that and clean it up. 
and over here on this third one would be 2 to the second power. If I had another digit out here, that would be 2 to the third power. So we're dealing with powers of 2, not powers of 10 when we're dealing with the, our binary numbers. Now, <clears throat> I'm just going to use three digits, and I'm going to count with three digits. So if all three are 0, 0, 0, 0, in decimal, that's equivalent to a decimal 0. This would be 0 times 2 to the 0 power plus 0 plus everything, anything times 0, 0. The next, if we come, we would have 0, 0, 1. That is a decimal 1. <clears throat> this is, the 0, 0, 1 is 2 to the 0 power, which we said was 1, times... 1, and anything times 1 is 1. So that we've gotten that one. Well, now, um, we when we add one more to it, what we have is a 0, 1, 0. Well, that would have been the same as having the 1 here and adding 1 to it would give us a 0 and a carry over in the next column. Well, this is a decimal 2. <clears throat> And here we've got 2 to the first power, 2 times 2, or 2 to the first power is 2 times 1 is, gives us 2. And if we were to keep going, we would next have one, uh, 0, 1, 1. Then adding 1, we'd end up with a 0 with a carry. A 1 and a 1 gives us a 0 with a carry, Give us a 1 here, and we'd have 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. And lastly, 1, 1, 1. And after a while, you'll see how that pattern emerges. In its decimal equivalent, we've got 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So 0 to 7 with 3 digits. Now, in our next lesson, we'll continue looking at numbers, and we'll see how we can convert from binary to decimal numbers and decimal to binary numbers in, in future videos. Thank you for watching this Dan on Tech video. Please subscribe to this playlist so you don't miss future episodes. Please check out and subscribe to our other Dan on Tech channel and, and playlist.